Welcome back. So today's topic is adjective. An adjective describes the quality of something. And these days, quality is important, just like everything else, right? Uh, you want to know whatever it is that you're working with or that is is something that has quality to it. So one test I remember that uh, I did a number of years back, my wife just did an, uh, one recently, uh, was the quality test or the adjective test. And within this test, you simply just ask, you know, three folks or a few folks within your network, three qualities about yourself. How would they define you? What are three words they would use to actually define you? And I had to describe my wife. And that's always kind of like a dangerous thing, like, oh, tell your wife about herself. So um, it took me a little while. It took me like a day or two uh, to make sure I, I chose the right words. Um, but I chose, I use a little acronym for it. I call it TAC. Uh, but my wife is very tenacious. Um, she's definitely a go-getter. If she sees something she wants, she kind of just sinks her teeth in and sort of just, just goes after it. And uh, the A stands for authentic. Um, so there's nothing really taken away from who my wife, wife really is. Like, she's herself. There's nothing kind of influencing her. If she doesn't feel straight about something, she's going to speak her mind. Um, so I really, really appreciate that, that she's authentic. Uh, but the third word I chose, uh, she wasn't, wasn't really sure if she kind of, like, fit with that. Uh, so the third word was uh, quirky. So quirky says like, no, I'm not quirky. I was like, uh, you know, you know, that that's just the word that I chose. I mean, don't, you know, took, don't take any offense to it, but, um, there's little things that she does that, that cracks me up. And so I just had to just talk about one or two of those real quick. Um, so my wife loves good food and I love good food as well, but she's a little bit more specific as far as what she wants. So within that, one of the quirks that I see is that she doesn't want her foods to touch. Don't know why that is, because I'm assuming when they're, you know, when the tastes are in your mouth, you might have you know, a few flavors that actually mix together. But she's just very specific on the foods cannot touch. So that means that anytime we're eating, the plate needs to be big enough for the foods to be separated. Uh, and if we're eating on paper plates, they need to have perforated paper plates so that each food has its section, right? So can't say anything about it. That's just the way that she eats, but that's her thing. But the, the other thing, and they got me the other day that I just had to mention, and she's probably going to be like, you shouldn't have said anything about that, was she's very specific about her pillow selection. My wife loves sleep. And anytime she can take a nap, she's just she's looking forward to it. And her big thing is the pillow configuration. She wants to make sure she has the pillows in the right configuration so it's most comfortable for her. But the funny thing is, she's so specific about that that it doesn't really matter anything else that goes on it's about the pillow configuration. So I'll give you an example. So this past weekend I did laundry uh, with my son and we decided we we're gonna wash all the sheets. So we took all the sheets off, right? Washed them, you know, had a fresh smell. I made the bed, everything was looking great, right? So fresh sheets, a made bed. And the one thing my wife says is the pillows, who moved my pillows? I'm just thinking like, no, she didn't say that. But she's very specific. So when I think of quirky, I think of specific. Now. I can't say this stuff about my wife without actually having gone through the test myself. And so I had to look up the results that I had a few years back. And this was, I guess, 2016. So about at this point, about four years ago. And it was a good exercise because I had to think, it was like, I know I did this exercise a while back. What do people say about me? So it's your time for all the videos that you've seen, what qualities actually define me. So there were a total of nine that I found. The top two, uh, the first one was tenacious. So my wife's tenacious, and I'm apparently tenacious as well, which, again, two peas in a pod. Uh, and then the other piece was high integrity. So I actually appreciate that. I believe in telling folks, you know, what I know. Uh, I don't want to hold anything back um, in sharing information. And at the same time, I want to make sure that I hold a high standard when it comes to myself and the folks I actually work with. So I tend to keep those circles small. And when I put information out there, again, I usually don't say a lot and again from the videos you're probably like no you, you talk a decent amount but believe it or not I was uh, very shy growing up so for me to actually be saying things now is actually a really good thing and I feel as though if I have an opportunity to speak I want to make sure that I get the point across okay uh, and then the others that kind of fell into the mix uh, were intelligent charismatic uh, dependable driven enthusiastic resourceful detail-oriented and level-headed so 
your turn to do the test. Uh, again, if you find anything that uh, folks are actually saying about you, that's actually good feedback to have because you may have an understanding of how you think and how you work and how others perceive you, but it's a different thing to actually ask those folks and to receive that feedback. So your task for today is to do the adjective or the quality test. Send a quick text to three or more than three. Send a quick text to friends, family, have them define you in three characteristics, three easy words, and see what you hear back. You might learn something about yourself. So that's the task for today, and look forward to seeing your results. All right, good luck.